Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about tech and lifestyle. For today's video, I will be sharing you a new TV from a well-known and respected brand that is continuously innovating and going for a smart host system. However, I won't be able to unbox this TV in this video considering how big the box is and how big the TV is. But I will be sharing you a few key features show you how to cast your contents from your phones or laptops to your TV. So without further ado, let's do this! If you have any specific topic you want to jump in in this video, feel free to expand the description box down below to see the timestamp for each topic. Before everything else, don't be confused between Smart TV and Android TVs because I myself has been confused by these two items before. So Smart TV uses operating system that has been developed by the company itself or the brands itself for their TVs that is capable of handling tasks or handling applications that is similar to an Android TV. On the other side, Android TV is an operating system that was developed by Google themselves that is capable of so much more than a Smart TV can do. What's great about Android TV is that you have wide range of choices for the applications and Google has been continuously delivering few enhancements and improvements to their Android TV. Fun fact, they have been trying to rebrand Android TV into Google TV. They have released a Chromecast that is described as Google TV instead of Android TV. Kaya naman ako, I opted for the Sony Android TV with the model name X80H. And now you finally can see the TV itself here at my back. Now let's talk about the TV itself. Basically, the TV shows simplicity and nothing too fancy here with its design. This TV is a 2020 model which means it has most of the modern features that Sony Bravia has for their TVs. It has a 49 inch screen with 4K HDR which means you can have the most satisfying viewing experience with this TV. Worth mentioning that this TV is a 60Hz screen which means you can have the most satisfying smooth experience with your movies or contents and also with Sony's motion for technology your 30 frames per second movie can also be as smooth as 60 frames. Also, this TV has a lot of I.O. ports which means you have a wide range of audio output, video in, and USB storage. Also, take note that this TV has a USB 2.0 which means it can deliver both data and power and you no longer have to struggle with transferring your files from your hard drive to a USB thumb drive but instead you can just plug your hard drive then you're good. Now for your ears. This TV has a Dolby Atmos which means that rest assured your audio will be a very immersive experience especially if you are using a 5.1 external speaker. Based on my experience, the built-in speaker is it that strong or is it that weak but that's just right for a TV. However, I know for those audio fans out there will say that they will be needing more than the built-in speaker delivers. The only downside for this TV is that it uses a very large power brick as its power source. This power source is a 19.5 volts that is similar to other laptop or other TVs as well. Meaning that you will be having some challenges with the cable management for this TV if you have mounted this on a wall or maybe if you have placed it on a countertop. Now, given that this TV is another TV and what really sold me out for this TV is the Chromecast. Let me show you how to use Chromecast on your mobile phone or on your laptop. Please take note that not all applications are CAS enabled but let's just say that most popular applications are CAS enabled. One of them is my favorite, YouTube application on mobile phone or on Android. So let's open your YouTube application. There's also two types or two options of how to cast your content. One is from the home page of the YouTube. You can click on the cast icon on the upper right corner. Select the TV that you want to use for casting. 
then right away you will see that YouTube will be popping up on the screen saying that a mobile or a device has been linked to YouTube. So all of your contents will be played directly on the TV and you will also be able to add queue to the TV. So let's just see that the, the video has been completed. It will automatically play the next video that you have queued. There you have it. And also, you can just close it, then close the player itself. The other way to cast a video is when you are inside the video itself. So let's just give you an example. Let's play a video. Then you will still see the cast icon in the upper right. Click on that one. Then select the device you want to use for cast. Then in just instance, it will be displaying on your Android TV. Also, with mobile YouTube casting, you will be able to control the whole YouTube app via the application itself. So tap on the cast icon again. Then you will see your controls here. So you will have the volume. The remote. So if I press down, it will be showing me some suggestions. Then I can also go home. The microphone. As well as the back icon and exit the application. Next application we have is Facebook. Just go or search for the video you want to cast on your screen. Select on the video itself. Then you will also see a cast icon on the upper right corner of the video. So tap on that. Select the device you want to cast. Then right away it will be showing the Facebook application on your TV and playing your video. You may also control the video on your notification. Also, not just video streaming applications are capable for cast, but as well as for the audio. So one of the examples here is that Spotify. Open the Spotify. Find the playlist or song you want to play. Then just play it. Expand the player. Click on the icon which shows TV and speaker icon on the lower left corner of the screen. Then select the device. Then right away, the same application for Spotify will be showing up on the TV and you will be able to control the application via the remote. Skip. Pause, shuffle, repeat. And what's best about Spotify TV, I mean Spotify Android TV, is that you will be able to experience less advertisement on TV. Also, take note that you are not limited with casting media, but also you can cast media from your phone itself. What I mean by that is what is in your local storage can be cast through your TV itself. For an example, we have MX Player. Then let's play this video. Then click on the cast button.
Then there is the video itself on the TV. Then you can just pause through your phone, then disconnect from your phone itself. Now if you want to cast a consent from your laptop, you could just have to be clicking on a video. Then on the lower right corner of the video, you will be able to see the cast icon. Then click on that one. Select the resources on the upper right corner of the tab. Then right away, YouTube will showing you the content that you have sent through your TV. And so for example, you have a content that you want to show to your family or friends on your TV. You can just simply cast your phone screen through the TV itself. So to do that, find a Google Home services or application on your mobile phone. Click on the TV. Click on the cast my screen on the lower center of the screen. Then cast. Also, once you have cast the content on your TV, you will be able to close your data or close your phone's Wi-Fi and save data. Then once the TV has the content or information, it will be continuously loading all of the contents through your TV as long as it is not inside or not stored or not relied to your phone's storage. So those are the reasons why I love this TV and why I chose the Android TV. I hope you guys like my video. Give it a thumbs up, maybe a dislike, comment down below on any suggestions, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more YouTube contents. Bye!